North Carolina went down and got absolutely whooped in Atlanta by Georgia Tech. And I will tell you, I missed this. I, I had been kind of looking to see when Jeff Sims was going to be coming back. I did not see that it was going to be this week, and I missed it. Now, I don't know that I would have expected a whole lot different, but Georgia Tech held North Carolina 369 total yards, 306 passing. North Carolina could not run the football on them. Jeff Collins has that rushing defense rolling. North Carolina had 1.8 yards per rush yesterday, and Sam Howell, not not great. Georgia Tech didn't even have to do a whole lot on offense in this game. They, they did have three fumbles that they lost. North Carolina did. Jeff Sims, 10 out of 13 passing, 112 yards, one touchdown. He ran the ball 10 times for 128 yards and three touchdowns. Just ridiculous. Georgia Tech on the day, 261 yards of, uh, of rushing, and, and they whooped, just whooped North Carolina. They, they ran it up on them at the end. 45 to 22 was the final here. I, man, I don't know what to make of this. Like, I just <laughs> I have no idea what to make of this. 43 carries, 261 yards. They averaged more than six yards a clip for the game. I North Carolina has got some soul searching to do. They got to figure some stuff out because they have those games where where you can whoop somebody like Virginia, and then you got this. <laughs> Ryan McCracken jumps in. The ACC is a basketball conference. <laughs> ACC might be a baseball conference. <laughs> it's a, that's, that's even more likely. That's even more likely. Uh, cheers, first off, to Georgia Tech for getting this done. Jeff Collins, obviously, every now and then you see steps in the right direction. You're going to get these kind of games here and there, and and they got it in this one, and they almost had it against Clemson uh, in Clemson last week. Like they, they had a shot to win that game. I'm excited about the prospects of having a competent Georgia Tech football team. We, we knew, not that we knew, we felt like it was just a matter of time before he had this thing rolling. North Carolina, I don't know what to make of this team. I, I don't know what to make of what Mac Brown is doing here. Their schedule sets up. They got Duke coming up next week. They got Florida State. They got Miami before they go play Notre Dame and Wake Forest uh, back to back. Then you got at Pitt, Wofford, and at NC State. Like, there's three, four more losses on here. I was just like, about to say, if you can lose to Georgia Tech this bad, you could lose to any of those schools. Hey, how crazy is this that Sam Howell and Spencer Rattler were expected to be the first two quarterbacks taken in the NFL draft? And uh, both of them have we, not been good. We started this thing off talking about folks who cost themselves some money this year. That would be another one that did. Yeah, that would that, be another that, one. So, so let me, uh, both of these programs are a complete enigma right now. The, North Carolina will look like one of the most well put together, well coached, prepared football teams in the country. And then play a game like this and just look completely outside themselves. Georgia Tech has looked like one of the most incompetent teams in the country with no talent at all. All right. They lost their first game to Northern Illinois. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then play a game like this and then just look like world beaters. Just everything goes right and, and they can make no mistakes. I think this is a thing where I don't think Georgia Tech is getting better. I think Georgia Tech is every year they're going to do this. Every year they're going to beat the hell out of somebody they're not supposed to be in the game with. Yeah. Okay, I think that's going to happen. And outside of that, they are what we thought they were. Yeah. yeah. North Carolina, I have no idea what to even think they're supposed to be. I don't even know where to start that conversation. I'm, I'm with you. I have no idea. Like, I, I don't know what to make of North Carolina right now. You can tell that they have got talent. It feels like the talent has no idea how to play without without thinking first. There's always this hesitation for whatever reason, and it's on both sides of the ball. And you can't play when you're hesitating. Like you, you can't think too much. You got to be able to do this stuff naturally. And this is what happens when you lose a bunch of guys, right? Like it, they they lost a bunch of dudes. However, on on defense, they brought in a bunch of dudes. They've just got a bunch of young guys as well. So this is going to be nuts. I, I don't know what to make of North Carolina. Hey, every year the Coastal is a disaster. I got no idea who's going to win it this year, and and we will see. We will see. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.